Hello folks, this is Waves from Slide Nerd. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to take input from the keyboard using something called Buffered Reader. Now some of you have heard this, some of you haven't heard this, it doesn't matter. At Slide Nerd, we always start from zero, which means we assume that everybody knows nothing. So now, we're gonna talk how this works. This scenario is something like this. The user types some data on the screen which goes inside this tank. This tank is called a buffer in programming language. So your program needs to take the data from this tank. For that, you need a pipe, right? So this is the pipe. It's called system.in in Java. This pipe is going to have ones and zeros flowing through it. Remember, not characters, only ones and zeros, binary stuff. So you need to convert this binary stuff into characters, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, whatever. So that is done with a converter. You attach the converter to the pipe. This converter is called an input stream reader in Java. So what I've done basically is I have this system.in binary pipe. I've connected it inside the converter. Now the converter will receive everything coming through this pipe and it will convert it. So at this point we have the stuff converted to characters but we need to make it flow through to your program, right? So that is done with the help of something called buffered reader. So you have your buffered reader which is connected to your filter which is your input stream reader which is connected to your binary pipe which is your system.in. At this point you have ones and zeros. At this pipe you have characters flowing through. I hope you guys understood what the basics are. Now let's go and see what is done with next. So now you have your complete setup, okay? You have the pipes connected, you have the converter and blah, blah, blah. But is data flowing through this pipe? No, not yet. So you make, you give it a name saying buffered reader BR is the same thing, new buffered reader, new input stream reader system.in. And now when you want the data to flow through this thing, you use a function called read line. So you say BR.readLine. This literally means you're pulling these cubes out of the pipe. And this data, it needs to be stored somewhere, right? So you can store it in a string called string data. So this is exactly how the input mechanism works. Now we are gonna try this using a program and find out what happens. Stay with me. So I'm using NetBeans over here. I'll simply say Control Shift N for a new project. Take Java, Java application, click next, and give it a name. Say input test create main class click finish so remember the steps first of all binary pipe then we need the filter which we say new input stream reader Now we need to import this input stream reader. It is an import. Uh, it's in the I/O package. We need to tell the compiler where it is. Our dot I/O dot input stream reader. Uh, let's just say star for now. And now at this point the filter is ready, and so is the main pipe. But now we need the character pipe, which is the buffered reader. New buffered reader, and put the filter and this other pipe inside. So now we give it this a name, say buffered reader, br is this. At this point everything is ready, constructed, we haven't read anything. So we want to read something, we say br dot read line. And we store this in a string, say data. So at this point everything is ready. But there is one thing you need to take care of and that is about errors. So for now, at this point, you don't need to worry about what this means. Simply write throws exception and we are covered. So now let's just say control S for saving and say shift F6 to run this. Or you can also go on the left, take the source packages, input test and right click over here to run. At this point, see the program is running. How do you know? whether the user should enter whether you should enter some data or not if you enter something high it's going to be entered but we need to actually tell the person to enter something so we'll say that with the system dot out dot print ln will display him a message 
and let's say enter your name at this point the user will enter this it's going to be stored in data and we will print this data out and display system dot out dot print ln will give a fixed text saying your name is a bit space and will add this data over here when you say add you simply write plus and you say data so now when you say control s for saving save text f6 for running run file now it will say enter your name if i say vips and i press enter it's going to say your name is vips so this is how you take input using buffered reader there's another way to do this using scanner which i have mentioned in one of the videos in my channel so guys if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this till then see you later have a nice day